I'm gonna get started on some windows. Did one right there. That window is done and set and ready to put a, a window into. So the windows are four by three. Uh, there's one there. There's one right on this side of the building. And then there's four more going down that side and then one on the other side. So seven windows total plus a walk door. So I'm gonna work on that as well. So let's get it going. So my dad cut all of these, pre-cut them to make the window boxes, which is two by sixes. The window boxes called for two by fours, but I'm gonna use two by sixes instead. Ugh. That is a lot. Okay, that'll work. 36 inch and 51 inch. 36 is the three feet, 51 inch is because that's three inches past 48 inches, which is four feet. So that gives room to overlap and just butt joint these boxes together. There you go. Now there's space to work. So far I'm really happy with these screws. I usually get just outdoor rated deck screws, but this screw I don't know if you can see that. It's got like razor saw type things on there. And it's crazy. I mean, it's a little bit thicker head too, which is nice, and the torque thingamajig, which is cool too, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm impressed by these. They are going in a little bit faster than uh, a normal screw, which is also nice. Doubles the speed. A little bit of a twist to this last screw, so I'm gonna use gravity to pull it down. Much easier. There you go. So this is the window box, four by three, rough opening. For right now, I'm just gonna show you the whole process of installing a window, um, but then I'll just get to go in and batch these out. I've got one over there and then this one, so five more. Uh, after that. First of all, I've got to find the top for my header, uh, which is 80. So I want the window, very top rough opening to be 80 all, all the way across. And so I'm going to mark up from the bottom of the grade board, which is down here and you can't see it, but from the bottom of the grade board to 80. Okay, so that is where the top of my header goes. I say header, and this is the same thing that Kyle at our building says a lot too, and he's done three, probably four fantastic videos explaining the whole process of putting in a window exactly like I'm doing it. So go watch his stuff. He's gonna be way more in detail, I'm sure, and uh, it'll probably make sense versus mine, but hey, whatever. I'm calling it a header because he calls it a header, even though there's no header at all. It's just the top board and then a bottom header, which is the bottom board. In this case, I have a window or a walk door in every single bay, so I'm just gonna run these two by four headers across the whole way because it won't matter and I'm gonna need them there anyway. Same with the bottom ones. You'll see what I mean, but it, it just seems to make sense other than cutting every single one of these at eight feet spacing on the columns and it's just, this is how the girths run and this is how we're gonna run these two. See that catch. I'll double check level again. And it is perfect. From this point, I come down three feet and make a mark right at three. I think it is pretty important that these boards are as straight as they can be. So I'd say try to make that happen. I've already messed up. I put my screw in my mark like it would sit on there, but it can't actually sit on there. It needs to be underneath. Now, I've pre-marked the center of this window, which is exactly the same distance from the garage door uh, as that window on this side. So the, these two windows should look identical. I think that's a... It's a big concern for me, um, how the building looks on the outside. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but we also intentionally moved these two windows by the garage door closer to the door to leave a nice big space on this side for shelving because right here is where the wall in, the, in between the shop 
and the garage will be. There's a lot of planning that goes on with it. Also, there's a lot of planning when it comes to where the ribs of your steel are. I'll get to that when I get to the rest of the windows, maybe. Speaking of level and center, I should probably do that to these as well. So same with that one, I'm gonna find the center, which is at two feet, because this whole box should be exactly four feet. Now that I have center marked, right there, I will line up this guy with the bottom. So I've got this lined up. There's this line here, and then I have my center line there. And then screw that in. And without letting go of it. Ow, that was my finger. Because this box could rack one way or the other, I'm actually going to put my level on it and push it and pull one way or the other. So because that can hold like that, this, I think this piece, the reason why it's high, because it has a little blow. So I'm actually gonna pull it down a little bit. The next step is to put a, a board back here. And that's gonna be the whole length from top of that to bottom of this, which is 43 inches. So I need to go get a couple 43 inch boards put one on each side, and then I also need a 36 inch board, and I'll cut that at the same time, and you'll see why. All right, 43 years, 43 years, 43 years? 43 inch boards go in there like that. Goes all the way flush to the bottom here. The 36 actually goes here, but we gotta cut this girt out. So how far do we cut the girt out? Let me tell you. Basically, we want this to be flush to the inside. So on this side, it'd be flush right like that. So where does that land? It lands right there. Where's my screw? My... So if that's right there, then this goes right here. And I clearly did not guess where I needed to on that. So I gotta move that screw, otherwise I can cut through it. Now if it's right depth, now throw these in there. So it's right about here when I realize I'm gonna have to go buy more screws, even though I keep buying the big box, I should have probably just bought the massive box in the first place which maybe I still will, but it's like 125 bucks. If I buy four boxes, that's like 105 boxes, that's 125 bucks anyway, and I'm already on my second box. Ah, uh, where the garage door goes, it's already prepped for concrete, and the two windows, one on each side. How exciting is that? There you have it. That's window number two for me out of seven. If I did something that you wouldn't have done or is something wrong or in a weird order or something, just drop a comment below because comments mean engagement and engagement means more views and I don't know, more people should see this content. It's fun, right? Moving on. So let's talk window placement. That's what I'm having an issue with right now. How do I line up the windows to look right with the walk door? How do I make sure they all look good from the outside? Obviously, I figured out the garage door side. It, that's how it's gonna be. Obviously, it's done. To be honest, I don't know how it's gonna end up and I'm probably not gonna take you through my four hour long process of figuring out how I make it look right. And I just trust me that it will. The sheet metal is ribbed, right? And so it's three feet panels. There's four ribs, that means every nine inches there's a rib. That kind of makes a difference when it comes to where the windows line up based on the fact that the trim will look correct. So I have laid out, because the metal starts on this corner, on this south corner, I have laid out every single nine inch spacing all the way down the building. Oh, 
Ladybug. And so that is something I'm contending with too. So right now these screws are kind of loosely marking where one window will be. Some of this stuff you really have to think through and uh, if it matters to you, then take your time. We're gonna work out in the dark because that's when I can. And I still wanna make awesome videos for you. So here we go. This is the north side corner bracing. It goes all the way to the truss. See up there? Man, the zoom in is probably great. The flicker on this headlamp is also great, but you know, whatever. So over here, I plumbed those columns up and then put in the corner bracing. Okay, so there's a few things framing wise that I still need to do. Uh, some web bracing, some lap bracing in the purlins. I'm gonna get some scaffolding that will go inside. Uh, I could put that on the concrete with some wheels and roll around a little bit easier. And I think the framing is gonna be complete after that. I can't think of anything else I'll need. So I might call for the framing inspection. So. Stay tuned for how that goes. These are what we call wind bracing in the industry, which I don't know why I said in the industry because I'm doing this once and probably never again. So wind bracing goes on the bottom cord of this, these purlins and it stops at this truss but goes through two bays. So I counted up four purlins and then there's four more. So I went right between these purlins, made a mark for him to cut and now I can install it and then go on to the next one. All right, get one screw in to lock it in place. Uh, I almost lost my drill. I didn't want to go any further because I would have run into the camera. A lot of limboing. Okay, go under where the strap is and look up. And I want to try to get these in line with each other. So I need to know where to go. Well, in the grand scheme of the whole building, worth it to me. So yeah, I'm moving the whole building now. Okay, let's do the next one. Day number 75, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know what day it is, it doesn't even matter anymore. I'm gonna frame in the walk door today. Again, Kyle RR Buildings. If you really wanna know how to build one of these buildings, I've learned almost everything that I know from him. Am I getting levels? Yes, I am. So yeah, go, go watch his stuff. He's incredibly knowledgeable, he's a pro, he does this every day. I do it as a hobby and it's fun for me. If you're watching this still, then um, great, thank you. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. That would be fantastic. Anyway, framing a walk door. I'm doing this a lot. Maybe I should stop. 
We're gonna frame this walk door. <clears throat> it's gonna go right here between these two screws that I've got. I'm gonna go around on the other side and figure out now that I have the concrete, it's exactly where the door will sit so I can go up from there. But I've already got my top header in this case of where it should be. So I'm gonna just go to that point. 81 and a half. 81 and a half. Oh, I'm holding it up. Huh. 82 and three quarters. I do have a few boards to choose from, so I am picking the best option that I have. Double check that these are perfectly lined up and they are very nice. All right, the other thing I need is a, a two by six that spans the distance here between the columns. 91 and a half. Oh boy, treated wood is so heavy. So I'm lining it up with where I want it. Just drive one screw in and then we'll check level. Did I bring my level out? I thought I did. Alrighty. Okay, rough opening on a 36 inch door is approximately 38 and a half, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the next one, this one goes on top, creating that top piece. Always look at your board to see which piece you want on the inside. Because that does make a difference in the end. Just like that. Ooh, yeah. That looks fantastic. I dropped a screw on the concrete, and with all these leaves, I can't see it. Found it. I'm gonna cut pieces that go in between here. Okay, door. I just need to cut that down. Oh, now we're gonna lock in the bottom of it with a, a little nailer, screwer plate thing. I don't know what it's called, but we're going to cut down some more of the, the off cuts from these pieces that are treated and put them flat on the concrete and tap con them in. And then that way there's a nice, solid, sturdy nailer for the, the bottom of that board. So let's do that. There we go. A walk door. I put this uh, form for the concrete back. I don't know if they're coming back to take that off or is that something I'm supposed to do? Anyway, I put it back just in case it's good to go. Set my door right on top of that concrete, which is perfect. And make it happen. That's the only one I could do. Let's move on to the next thing, which I don't know what that is, so. Let me think about it for a while. Next in the video series, we're gonna tackle the metal trim, soffit, and roof. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more content and follow this build, be sure to subscribe and drop a comment below for any questions, concerns, or comments that you might have directed towards me or what I'm doing. As always, thanks for watching. That was the last screw in this entire side. Woo! One side done!